Hey guys, welcome back to the another episode. So today we are going to talk about Kindle, Amazon Kindle. So you guys know that I read a lot. I literally read a lot. Like I, last year, I read almost more than 300 books. And I, I know I am a book blogger, so reading is one of my favorite habit. But today I want to talk about Amazon Kindle. I mean, is it worth buying? Should you have it or should you not buy it? I mean, is it physical books are really good? or you should go for the hardcover or you should always carry physical books or you should consider buying Kindle. So we are going to talk about today. The, so the reason I love Kindle is it's, it's very easy to use. It's very, I mean, you can literally read a lot from this book. This I and mean, you can get the feel of the like, I know the battery is currently down uh, because I almost I ended up reading almost more than 100 pages yesterday night. So that's why the battery is down. But you can get the feel of the books. You can get the feel of the pages on this Kindle. I mean, there is a, there is a reason why I carry Kindle everywhere because it's very portable. You can almost carry almost 8 GB, 8 GB, 16 GB data. I mean, that's almost more than 100 books you can carry at a time. And the another good thing is that Kindle subscription. I, I know there is a two types of subscription available. Either you can go for the prime reading or you can go for the Kindle reading. But today, today's video, we are going to focus on the Kindle reading. I mean, that's a Kindle Unlimited. The reason I say Kindle Unlimited is good because consider if you if you go and if you wanted some big books, like there are some hard covers which is available, which is priced at around 2000 rupees, 3000 rupees. You cannot buy it rather than if you have a Kindle. I know Kindle is later. We are going to talk about pricing also. So Kindle, if you have Kindle, you can read that book almost at the rate at the zero rupees if you have Kindle Unlimited subscription. And Kindle Unlimited, it goes around 100 to 200 rupees per month. And that's equal amount if you spend monthly one or two books. I mean, it depends how many books you read on monthly basis. I, I usually consider reading five to 10 books right now because I have other works to do. I do freelancing, I do marketing, I have my own business to handle. So that's why I'm currently reading only five to 10 books a month. I'm going to do a video that monthly wrap up where we're going to talk about the, the, the most favorite book and the least of favorite book from the every month. So today it's about all about Kindle. So actually there is three variety of Kindle available. The first one is Kindle, uh, the paper white, sorry, paper bag, which is costly around 7,000 rupees. Uh, the good thing is it's very portable and I, I have that one actually 7,000 rupees. It's come with either 8 GB or 16 GB. But the good thing is here you get the feeling of that paper. I mean, I know you don't get the exact feel. You don't get the exact smell as the paper bag books but you get the sense you get the uh, you get the sense of that books or you get sense of that pages when you swipe you get that sense. so it few it takes few few days to get uh, used to with this kindle but once you do it then it's really really easy the reason i suggest this because it's really easy to use portable and it's very low cost the another the kindle available which is cost around 12000 rupees uh, which have a better display i guess i mean from that they have some better display that's the only reason they priced at 12000 and that's also good uh, that's also good device but i will suggest if you are comparing these two then go for this one you get the good better feel and the last one which is cost around that amazon oasis that's around i guess 20 to 25 rupees which have physical buttons you can use that physical buttons to change the pages change the book or whatever you want to do and also the Amazon Kindle app also available on the Play Store. You can go and check that app also. So the reason these three are devices, the most of every device is this. I mean, literally, this is a very easy to use. You can see that the compact, how much you can carry anywhere. I mean, I know it's really easy to broke also, but the battery backup is also good. It depends all depends on you that how your budget is. But we are going to do the calculation also that which is better. So if you consider this 7000 rupees book, so if you go for the paperback around the cost of the paperback is 200 to 300 rupees so we are considering the one book is priced around 300 rupees so if you take 10 books it's around 3000 rupees a yearly and rather if you have yeah and if you go for the kindle so it will price around 7000 rupees but the good thing is with this book you can read almost any type of book any type of book that's available on the amazon that's the good thing so in that case we are just pricing we are taking the average price of 300 what if there is a hardcover book which is cost around 2000 rupees will you be able to buy it 
obviously not i mean you will think about otherwise what will you do you will go for the some jugad and you will find that pdf from somewhere and you will say so better than going for this i will suggest you to buy this kindle i mean if you are a long term if you are if you are avid reader like me who reads a lot and a lot then you should consider buying kindle i mean that's the best thing you can do in the long run because see if in yearly you can spend on the books around 2000 to 5000 then you can spend almost 7000 rupees on a kindle for the lifetime uh, it depends how you use it but the thing is you cannot carry at a time 10 books in if you, if it's that paperback or hardcover you cannot carry those book for the long time or when you are traveling but you can carry kindle that's the good thing yes it's it's tricky to use to get used to it these kindle devices but once you get used to it it's very easy you can use it you can read a lot and also you can send your pdf to your kindle devices also that's the good thing you know if you have some office material like i have some office uh, i do have some office marketing script i do have some uh, office market documents so i have to read that so I'll, i i what i do is i just to mail all those documents to the my kindle id and all books available on the kindle so whether it's my marketing whether it's my business related whether it's my personal books or whether that's book that's on my tbr list which is never ending list i mean that's the whole that's the one thing i'm just wanted to finish that my tbr list but that's keep on increasing increasing but the good thing is i have all that tbr list in my kindle so if you're thinking if you are an avid reader if you want to think about the long term run believe me if you are today is a learner today as a reader tomorrow is a leader you must heard that quote and that's true that's why i suggest you to invest your good amount in the kindle devices i know paperbacks are always good hardcover is always good but you cannot just take all your paperback or all your hardcover when you are traveling and it's easy to carry easy to use you can almost read it anywhere anytime with the portable like you can uh, we can use your micro usd card to charge that which is available everywhere right now so you can buy so my last verdict will be the go buy the kindle the which is available at 7000 rupees and it's not very high amount i know you can spend almost 20 to 30000 rupees on mobile you spend 10000 rupees on the shopping then why not invest in the education part why not invest in the self learning i mean this is a real kind of investment that will pay you in later i mean i can it's almost one year i am using this kindle i'm uh, reading a lot of book well, almost i'm reading right now non-fiction books i'm going to talk about that in the other video that that books that changed my life but consider buying a kindle so i will put link in the description go check go check that buy that book so in 2020 make yourself a promise that to buying a kindle i mean I have Kindle and I, I, I know that's the benefits of the Kindle and I'm, I'm definitely I'm, I'm requesting you to go and buy the Kindle and start using it unless you will do it you will never going to change your life so that's all for the today's video see you in the next one